check out my old uh, brake pads look at how thin they've become now let's compare it with the new ones It is heartbroken biker. Today I'm going to change the front disc pads of my Amy tile and I thought I'll show you a quick process of how it is done. These are my front brake pads. Let's change this. The first thing to do is to check the status of the current disc pads and this is how you can see it. I'm not sure if this can zoom but this is where it will be visible. That thin little part over there is my old disc pads. Anyway, we will open the disc pads in a bit and you can see the difference between the old ones and the new ones that are lying right here. So let's open the disc pads and I will show you in a bit. So first you use the 8 number spanner, T spanner and open up that bolt right there. It's off. You use the 12 number spanner panel and open up those two bolts as you see here. And your caliper will fall off like that. Now you can get a clear picture of my disc pads. Look at how thin they are. You will see them in a bit more clearly once we take them out. Use a plier to remove these pins that you see here. After the clips have been removed, you can really open up the pin just like that. And the brake pads, your old brake pads, just slide off. And those are your piston rings. Check out my old uh, brake pads, look at how thin they have become. Now let's compare it with the new ones. Now check out the difference between the new one, the thickness between the new one and the old one. Now that is the difference. Alright, so now let's proceed to change my old pads with the new one so that I can have good stopping power. Let's do this. There's a little bit of an extra strip that we are doing here. We're removing the clamp of my calipers. Um, the reason is that there's a lot of oil from my forks that had leaked and we just fixed the forks. I want to clean that, get that clean first. So we're going to remove the clamp, clean that and put the disc pads back in. By the way, this thing that we're cleaning is also called the adapter. Not just the clamp, I mean in the local general terms we call it the clamp but it's an adapter so right now we're going to clean the inner bush ring over here let's clean that the inner bush ring is now spotless and clean now let's grease that bush a little bit so there's a free movement that this extra step is only being taken because my oil seals leaked on the right side and this thing leaked onto my calipers if not these few steps would be eliminated you do not need to remove that push and that adapter we put the adapter back in Now the adapter is back in and now it's time for the disc pads to go in. Now take the disc pads, the new ones, not the old ones, and slide them in like this. One lucky thing this time that didn't happen is the pistons, both the pistons remained at the same position. Uh, should we show them? Sorry, we're removing back the pads just to show you. These pistons both are in the same level right now but not every time that happens luckily this happened this time so it could happen that one of the pistons comes out more than the other and in that case is what you have to do is you could actually push them back in like this or you can use a spanner which is of the same size 
push it on the head and push it back in. So this is one of the ways you can push the pistons in. You should always do that actually. And now you slide the brake pads in. Now we put the pins back in and tighten them up with the clips. Now we set the caliper back into its position and tighten it up with the 12 bolts and the 8 bolt that holds the pipe over there. Something to remember while doing this whole process is at no point should you touch that brake lever until this procedure right here is completed or else you are going to end up with a really bad braking system. So right now after this procedure here of putting back the calipers is completed properly you will dunk in the brakes a couple of times or you call it as pumping in the brakes a couple of times. Remember that the first thing when you pump in, it is going to offer you no resistance as in it's going to completely dunk in like this. So what you have to do is pump in quite some times until you get the feel. And that's about it. That's about it. Now you have the play and the brakes are lock in. So this is about it. Now the last thing you have to remember is that these are new brake pads. So do not expect them to have the amazing bite that a or broken in or run in brake pads will have. So you'll have to run in the brake pads a little bit for a couple of kilometers and after that you'll feel the bite. So if you like the video let me know in comments below give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at these URLs. And this is Heartbroken Bikers signing off sayonara.